In this video, I'm going to show you a few things that the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint um, has the capability of doing, whether you're rooted or not. Um, and I'll tell you whether you have to be rooted for some of these things. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. As soon as I get in my vehicle, I have um, a cheap $150 touchscreen TV I bought off of eBay, and you know we installed it ourselves. But it does have Bluetooth capabilities. And um, I have an application. It's just a standard player, which there's many of them out there. Um, that connects to it so it will play your audio through the Bluetooth speakers like this it says media playing through Bluetooth and that means it's playing through my Bluetooth speakers obviously it's been paired so um, you can also control it from here so if I want to change the song it's going to change on my Evo as well you can pause it from here just by clicking pause you can play it from here if a call comes in obviously it will ring that way um, and it will stop playing the music, we'll just pause it for just a moment. Um, it's amazing. So this is just one application. Uh, I also use a program called BioWallet and while I drive in my car I had a wallet that was about three inches thick. Now it's this. Um, you can put all your credit cards into BioWallet and then you can have a specific password set and the data is encrypted just in case your phone were to get stolen or you can use signature capture um, to get back in there and access those cards because I don't really use all my cards every day. Um, typically, I uh, let me pull up BioWallet really quick. Also, typically, I just use them to pay bills online. I just need to key in the phone number or key in the card number. So here's BioWallet. I'm not going to show you my card number. I'm sorry. Um, and in the next sequence, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you remote desktop. How you can connect um, to your work desktop say you need to call into work but you need to still access files there um, you can control your PC from work from your Evo um, or any Android device uh, you can also use a Nintendo Wii controller which is really cool uh, to play video games you can also connect um, the HDMI port here um, to your TV so essentially be on a 50 inch screen so that that'll be the next sequence so this is the Evo again. I have a really unique desktop here. Um, and I have the HDMI connected. And what we're going to do is put it um, up through this 50 inch plasma or LCD TV. So I'm going to go through. I have a program called HDMI Win, which is here. Let's see. And what this program does is it mirrors what's on your Evo to, to your TV. So I'm going to click Start Mirroring and it will immediately uh, mirror in landscape mode. It should. Oops. Okay, start mirroring. So there it is. Okay, so now it's on the TV. So essentially now, instead of having uh, a tablet, you have a 50 inch, 50 inch worth of, worth of real estate um, through your Evo if you process it through your TV. There's also a program called Splashtop, which we'll go to now, where you can control your PC. So here's Splashtop. This is the uh, profile that I set for it. And this is my PC. So now I'm going to connect it. Just clicked it. So Splashtop is connected to it now. And here's Splashtop and here's my PC. So everything that I do on my Evo um, splash top will do as well so I'm gonna move my mouse up here I'm gonna click on a movie file or a, a music file on my Evo and it will open through splash top which it's about to do on my PC and also through the, um, the HDMI on a 50 inch TV so here let's let it work should play it So essentially what this means is you can stream music from your computer even if you're away at work or whatever in the car. Um, you can also control your work computer if you need to um, from home. Um, it, okay, that's awesome. Let's get out of that. Okay, so I'm getting out of this now. And the last thing I want to show is, um, so this is a pink Nintendo Wii controller. Sorry. And it can be controlled by your Wii remote or your, your Evo. 
So there's a program called Wemote. It's free in the market. You have to be rooted for it. Um, I'm going to click 1 and 2 to make it discoverable by Bluetooth. And then I'm going to click number 1 on this program here. It's going to search for the controller. It's going to find it. It found it. It's connecting now. And then you select it with number 2. You select it as your keyboard. So now I'm going to open up a game really quickly. So Akari Warriors is already playing. So um, it's already connected. So I'll hit start on it. And here's the game. I'm going to hit start again. Um, it's really difficult to play with one hand, so here. Oh. But here you go. This is just a standard Nintendo emulator. And that's it. So if you have a Bluetooth keyboard and you um, and maybe like a Bluetooth mouse, you can also control your Evo as a desktop. You don't even have to have it in your hands. And you can get a mini keyboard um, for about 13 bucks on eBay. And you can Bluetooth it directly through your Evo.